Real quick before the video begins, if you want to see how you can get your own Hoppin Wisteria Moon pendant necklaces, be sure to check out www.wisteriaworld.com or click the link at the top of the description of this video. It will definitely be worth your while. Hey guys, Wisteria here, and today it is Saturday, and that is very sad for a number of reasons, but mainly because two days ago was Thursday, and that was Animal Jam Update Day, which is basically every Animal Jam YouTuber's free video idea day, and I think the most unfortunate part of missing the updates Thursday is that I didn't actually miss the updates, no. No, instead, kids, I recorded an entire update video, but uh, just outright did not have time to edit it, because college. First, I had to be uh, driven home, and then had a lot of homework to get done that was conveniently due yesterday, Friday, so. Instead today, I'm gonna try out a little bit of an unconventional Animal Jam update video in which I don't actually read through the Jama journal. Rather, I actually uh, take a little hop around Jama and investigate all of Animal Jam's newest features right away and express my opinion, which I'm sure you are all absolutely dying to hear because who wouldn't want Wisteria Moon's professional opinion? So yes, without further ado, let us hop right into it. So as you can see, based on the first page of the Jama journal, an absolutely revolutionary update has come to Jamal. What are all these noobs doing here? Get out! This is my territory! You are not welcome here. That's right. That's right. Run away. Rar XD. Oh, well, got someone uh, right there. Okay. Oh, I have been discovered. Hawkins. <laughs> Better move out of there pretty quickly. But uh, anyways, so yes. This revolutionary update that is changing the history of Jamal is something so monumental and unheard of that there have been at least 10 videos by Animal Jam YouTubers covering it. And that is none other than this floating head. <laughs> so, uh, as many of you probably know, for the first, uh, let's say, seven years of Animal Jam's existence, this little mask thing right about here was not floating. It was actually sunken in to this little portal thing, and when you slept around it, phantoms would actually lift out of it. Crazy stuff, right? I mean, they literally just appeared out of nowhere. But now, all of a sudden, after seven years of Animal Jam's existence, the mask magically lifts up out of the ground, and rays of light are beaming down. So majestic. Three majestic five me. Now you'd think that uh in seven years Animal Jam uh, might have had something more monumental happen than uh you know the mask just you know float. But as it turns out actually hang on before I start explaining things I feel like I need to look a little more intellectual. There we go. That's the stuff. <clears throat> so as it turns out this little floating Zeus head event is actually just a piece to a grand puzzle in the evolution of Animal Jam's lore. The first step was the little messages in a bottle event that happened in Crystal Sands a few months ago. Fortunately there are plenty of Animal Jam videos covering that, so if you missed that event somehow, be sure to check those out. And then, about a week ago, Animal Jam actually encountered a solar eclipse that darkened several rooms across Jamal. There wasn't really much context behind this event, but our assumption is that the solar eclipse sparked a resurgence in Animal Jam's story and led to Zeos lifting up out of the ground in the development of this little closed portal thingy. Now, sadly, we don't really know much beyond that. I'd really like to do some, uh, investigating, but, uh... <laughs> I have determined that there's not really much to see here, folks. Unfortunately, us jammers really have no choice but to just stick it out and uh, wait for something else to happen and try to come up with some ideas as to why this Zeos has risen once again. Personally, while this aspect of the update is engaging, it is really not that monumental. Also, can we all just take a moment to think about the fact that the father of Jama is a mask? Like, I'm sorry, but what even is Zeos? Like, I don't understand how this works. Apparently, a mask plus Mira, the mother, who is a crane, created the entire land of Jama plus the thousands and millions of animals living in it. It is just, it's just a very, very interesting development. But anyways, enough of that. It is now time for us to investigate some other Animal Jam developments. On the second page of the Jama journal, all that we have is a little, uh, PSA of sorts, basically giving us an idea to buy these uh, pixel place dens, which are found in the diamond shop. And it's also giving us a little deco idea to put some pixel masterpieces in it, but this den has already been released, so there's nothing to see there. But then on the next page, we have a heart-meltingly cute new pet release. So we're actually going to be picking ourselves up a little pet links and analyzing this kawaii little creature through and through. So let's put on a good old adoption outfit. Oh yeah, guys. Gonna make a great, great parent. <laughs> JK, any person would probably be terrified. But you know, it's alright. Our little links will loaf us, so we're now in 
the diamond shop. We're gonna click on these little pet dudes and whoa. Here we got a snazzy little pet lynx with a little new tag on the end. Selling in the diamond shop for three diamonds. I'm gonna go broke from this. You are expensive. Anyways, now have to pick our color. And picking colors is always a true challenge for me. So I'm, whoa, okay then. Guess we're going for red today. I mean, I'm cool with that. I think I wanna do little dark red divots in there. How about these eyes? Ooh, yes. This is an overlook. Ooh, we got some anger. We're getting angry today. <laughs> gonna have a rebellious little pet. No, JK. Oh yeah, that, that is some hot stuff. Yep, we're gonna be going with the love eyes because why not? You know, it's, it's an interesting development. Got a lot of different hair choices. You know what? I think we're gonna be going with the, uh, it's not a phase mom look today. So let's get some matching tail. Look at that. Look at that little nub. That is just... <laughs> to adore but let's go with the it's not a phase mom tail as well and yeah why not match it with the it's not a phase mom ears you know it's a great great look we'll name it square apple <laughs> i think that that is a very very quality name it will definitely help this guy make some friends you know what i actually think that this adoption certificate matches the uh it's not a phase mom persona square apple has a serious personality loves the guitar oh that is some next level edge right there that is the kind of edge i'm looking for in a kid now let's see this guy in action. Let's uh, click on him. So when we click on him, he chases a bird. I am really just impressed by the fact that this bird vaporizes out of thin air and then just disappears. That is really impressive. Now let's check out these dance moves. Oh my goodness. I mean, first of all, I just can't get over how nicely I'm rocking the mom look today, but this dance is literally the cutest thing on the planet. I can't. It's so cool. Anyways, it's got a pretty cute little hop as well with a head about three times the size of the body I don't even know how it lifts itself off the ground, but you know what? That is fantastic But the sleep the sleep is everything look at those little Z's coming out That is some quality animation and finally we've got a mother-son bonding moment here just chilling with square apple It's so touching. Anyways, let's see what kind of clothes they have in the pet stuff So as for hats we can do the French thing be a robot. That's some kawaii got a prehistoric look there and then this interesting Halloween conglomeration. Yeah, I'm I'm not really feeling any of these to be honest. I don't really feel like any of those are edgy enough. This one goes along with the uh, space theme and then we got a slushy a Neanderthal bat and some baguettes. We can make ourselves an edgy French lynx. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Or we can go with um, this outfit, the space outfit or the Neanderthal outfit. I think we're actually going to be remaining edgy but we'll keep our loaves of bread. We got a loaf of loaves. Those are some nice, nice baguettes. Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good about this lynx. Now, our fourth page of the news really makes me feel old. I've been playing Animal Jam for around uh, five to six years, so I still remember the days of the second birthday cake. So the fact that we are now on the seventh birthday just really makes me feel wonderful. But I'm definitely looking forward to exploring all of our birthday events. So first of all, we're going to be hitting up the AJB Day party. Now, it's not actually going on right now, but I'm actually in the room on my storage account, Mel. So that works out pretty nicely. But for those of you who are unsure of how to get to it, you basically click this little party button and then click on this little time button right here and you'll see the AJB day party sometime in the list and all you have to do is log in when it is going on. Now first, gotta put on our party attire. Oh yeah, baby. We're killing it today. So yes, let's go ahead and follow the old storage and here we have it. The AJ birthday party. Now this party doesn't really change much year to year. We've got the happy birthday and we're basically just walking on a giant cake now. If this were real life, <laughs> let me just tell you. I would not be walking on this cake so much as literally eating my way through it but you know it's a game so hey me what's going on anyways so let's check out what they got in the stores this year so basically they have this little uh sale carts now all of these statues are alphas and these alphas have not even really been discussed at all by the game and these specific ones have also previously been for sale in other locations in Jama. so i think that that's pretty interesting that now they're in the birthday party but it's still pretty cool i don't know what the heck is up with victor but his face is literally the scariest thing on earth. Like this is the face that, that you see when you're like in your room at night and you like feel like you're seeing things in shadows. Yeah, that's that's messed up. But aside from that, everything in here is pretty cool. The alpha balloons are also super adorable. Now if we head on over to this end, click on this little box right here. We've got some alpha necklaces and those are popping. I'm gonna get myself a peck charm necklace because heck is the raddest. And we've also got some music for sale. Actually, I kind of want to give this a quick listen. Now this is what I want to hear at my birthday party next year. Mm, we are definitely gonna be getting that. But anyways, so yes, yeah, so that's about it for the AJ birthday party. Now, as you can see, the next part of this little birthday update is actually a special 
special gem code and cakes available for purchase around Jamal. Now, I already redeemed this on my main account. So for this part, we're actually going to be popping on over to my storage mail. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The first step is to enter the gem code, which is AJBDay7. So we're going to pop on up to this little gear, press the enter code button and type in AJBDay7. Hit continue and nothing happens. Wow, would you look at that? Amazing. No, JK. Pretty easy to figure out what to do from here. Oh, I'm getting a free spite. Wow, would you look at that? No, JK. I cannot accept that favor. So let's click on this and here we have 777 gems. Wow, how generous. Let us go ahead and take a little tour around Jamon. The first room we're going to check for cake is the Jamon Township. So as you can see, we've got this little cake pop up here. We just give it a good old click. Got the cake shop and here we have it. The Jamon Township mirror statue cake available for 77 gems. Yes, we will be buying that. There's our first cake. But if you think we are done there, you're wrong. Today we're gonna get real fast. So let's go to our neighboring town, Apondale. Head up to the top of here and would you look at that? We've got an Apondale tree cake. Mmm, man oh man, tree flavor cakes are just my favorite. Anyway, so let us head on over to the next room, Mount Shavir. Oh my goodness, Mount Shavir is popping today. I never see this happen, but this is just really reassuring. No, I've never really understood the whole Mount Shavir ice breaking trend. Like, do you all really want to know what happens when you fall beneath the cracks of ice into freezing cold water. You die. Anyways, um, we take a little hike up this trail. You will see that along with a basket of eggs, which have magically not frozen in the cold, there is a mountain cake. Well, actually a summit cake with a candle magically balanced on the tip. We're gonna be buying this. I have four slots remaining. Are you kidding me? Well, actually that just so happens to be the perfect amount for all the cakes that we have left. So first let's head on over to the Kimbara Outback. Traveling over to this side and here we have the Kimbara Outback waterfall cake hidden right along the waterfall. So let's head on over to the Temple of Zeos now. And if we head on up to the top here, we've got a temple cake. Hmm, scrumptious. Let's buy this. Now, I did a little bit of cheating here, kids, and I actually already investigated the Serapia Forest prior to this recording, and for some reason, this is the one land to not have a cake. So that's right, clanners. Animal Jam is declaring you all inferior, though I can't imagine why. Role-playing is clearly uh, the most sophisticated sport in Animal Jam. Pika Pika, am I right? <laughs> Anyways, so let's head on over to the Crystal Sands, one of my favorite lands in Jamal. And there we have it. The Crystal Sands Water Slide Cake. Perfectly equipped with our little flamingo. Let's buy this. Now, the last cake to obtain is in Coral Canyons. And then that will provide us with seven cakes, one for all lands except for the Serapia Forest and one for each year of Animal Jam's existence. This cake is definitely my favorite because it's got an archway and I'm not really sure how a cactus in the mouth will feel, but I'm all for it. So let's head on over to our den and actually wrap these cakes along in here. That's amazing. And we've got almost the entire world of Jama, except for the Serapia Forest. But yeah, these just look like your average old run-of-the-mill cakes. They don't really have any transforming properties, which is probably for the best. It's already going to be difficult enough to eat trees and cacti and waterfalls. Now, the next page of the Jama journal is nothing too monumental either. We've got some brand new autumn armor out, which is actually pretty cool. I'll be giving a little review of that on my main account. And then we've got owls on sale. So, of course, if you are a member, you now have the special opportunity to purchase owls for a reduced price. So, as you can see in the diamond shop in this little armor corner right here the arctic wolf statue is dressed up in the brand new attire collectively the outfit costs nine diamonds so let's select our little autumn outfit and there we have it. this is some interesting stuff folks wow i feel like a lot of these items are going to end up in uh, some really overused clan looks in just two steps we can go from cute autumn princess to sinks teeth and throat and end but i definitely have to say that the autumn armor does tend to fit really nicely and i feel like a lot of the items can be incorporated in varieties of looks. But then on the next page of the update, we have an announcement and that is the summer carnival coming to an end. But this will definitely be good for all you cheap fellows out there because everything in the summer carnival is on sale. The summer carnival is pretty much available at all times. You just click on the party button and pop right on over at the top. In commemoration of the summer carnival's closing, I will be wearing strangest items I can find, namely the pizza hat, the gloves, and uh, I guess we can buy ourselves this giant shark plushie. So the last few pages are just some elementary announcements. We've got an advertisement for the downloadable version of Animal Jam, which you can get by visiting this link, animaljam.com apps. I'm actually playing the desktop version right now, and it works out pretty great. We've also got traveling giraffes, but with the giraffes traveling comes the return of goats, so you win some and you lose some. And our last announcement in this Animal Jam update is an advertisement. Animal Jam light up pets. I would really like some of these light up pets. So if I ever find my way in the Walmart area and feel the need to pick up some pets, maybe we'll maybe do a little video about that. But anyways, guys, as far as I can tell, that's that's just about all for this little Animal Jam update review video. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!